Hello and welcome! I am Anami, and today I'm going to be starting my playthrough of Playfriend Save the World, where I've got a load of you playfriends, I've made you in my character pool, and you should hopefully show up when I am playing XCOM and we can work together to try and save the world. That sounds like a good thing, yes? So... I've played XCOM 2 a decent amount before. I've not done a huge amount with War of the Chosen, a little bit here and there, but most of my playthrough has been in vanilla XCOM. And I've not played in about a year and a half, I think. Maybe a little bit less. I think February 2019 was the last time I apparently opened this game. So I'm going to take it a little bit easier on myself. Well, I'm going to, you know, be on the, I think this is equivalent to normal. A significant challenge. That's the easy setting. I'm going to... Alright, mouse. Good job. <laughs> I am going to double the length of mission timers. And double the length of the Avatar project. Because... Um, I feel like it. Yeah. I never find those timers to be particularly fun. So... Oh. Oh yeah, that was exactly what I meant to do. <laughs> So yeah, we are going to get going. I don't think there's an Iron Man setting, which is a shame. Because, ah, there we are. Iron Man mode is the ultimate XCOM experience. So, yeah. Uh, I'm guessing... Oh, right, I could choose those separately. Right. Yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons why I want to double the length of the timers, because I do want to play on Iron Man mode, and it'll be my first time playing on Iron Man. So we'll see how this goes. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as 
city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. any security forces in the area keep your heads down all right so we've got some of our custom people already around which is nice i think we've got uh khan Wenen over here we have vard northbourne here can't remember who some of these other people, I, uh, we'll find out in a moment when we see their names. Oops. <laughs> Got a few frame rate issues right at the start of things, but yeah. So, yeah, we got Wazd. Move this around. Q&E rotates us, but I feel like that's rotating the wrong way, so let's switch those around quickly. Alright, that's better. So, we want to place some explosives over here, we want to neutralize some enemy targets, and let's have a look at... Oh, that's... Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. For some reason, it had scroll wheel forward was 
to go up, which I guess makes sense, but oh no. So, we have, this is Vard Northbourne over here. We'll have a better look at them once we're back at base. We have Kaloguru. Back here, I thought that was them, but I wasn't 100% sure. Here we have Carmwenon, Big Crime. And here we have Emma, Carrie B. So, we want to get over this way. And I need to remember how to play this game properly. Guess. Let's start with having. Moving on target location. Khan getting forward there. We don't have a time of this mission, so we can be a little bit cautious. So. I mean, I want to spread people out a little bit. There's no real window around there, but let's moving out. Let's send Vard up that way. Kind of want to get someone over at this wall, but I can't do that in a single move. But let's, let's have them run over there. So for those who aren't aware, in XCOM 2 you have essentially two action points. You can move as those action points, so I could move anywhere within this blue line and that would be one of my moves, or I could double move to within this yellow line and that would be a double move. After I have moved, I can then do like a main action, which might be firing my gun, it might be firing my a grenade, so I've got a grenade here. It might be hunkering down or something like that, but once I do a main action, my turn, uh, or that character's turn, ends. And once all of my characters have had their turn, it then becomes the advance turn, and we continue like that. So when you've not got a timer on you, it's frequently a good idea to go into Overwatch, because as it says here, if enemies come into your line of sight, then you can get a free shot on them. Let's see how that goes. Alright, we didn't see anyone. I kind of wish that these walls wouldn't go quite so invisible when I'm, you know, trying to get next to them or something like that. So let's move. But up. I'd like to get someone in like a high position. Let's send Kalo up here. Climbing up the pipe. Big crime. Now, I had some specific instructions with uh, Khan, and it was kind of to make them the worst person ever. Alright, so. Let's move Khan there. Understood. Moving out. So, they've got like uh, tartan plaid armor, they've got uh, fedora, they've got no shirt, they've got a monocle. And just in general, they are... They're awful. I'm on it. We'll get to see a little bit more of them when we're back. But let's just put everyone on Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Shut up. Listen. Okay, so that symbol means that there are aliens in that direction. Oh, in fact, we can see some. These are the Advent. They've, like, occupied Earth, and we're trying to... Free it. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Alright. Now one of the other reasons to be careful is that permadeath is very much a thing for your characters. And they will level up. And if they die, you've got to train up a new person. And that's no good for anyone. I've not got many good options for Kalo, but I guess I'll move them maybe up here. They've got a little bit of cover. So yeah, that's what those shields are 
here that represents cover from attacks but cover only impacts in sort of the direction that the shot comes from so if someone were shooting at Callow from up here they would be flanking them and that would be really bad for me so let's I typically like to move up my sort of people okay. who are furthest back to get an idea about where they can move to and still get a shot. Alright, so Khan is probably going to move to where Vard is. Vard can get up here. Really? Menace one five, you're near the target position. Yeah. Yeah, let's move Khan to where to designated position. Vard was before. Scanning. Let's put everyone on Overwatch. Covering now. Scanning. Eyes on the prize. So those little eyes that were in spots up here, as you can see right here. Uh, my team is currently concealed, but if they were to move into these areas, they would get detected and I would no longer have any amount of stealth. And that means, I think, that if I'm not in stealth, if I'm sort of within sight range of aliens, they will immediately know that I'm there. Which is not good. I would also lose stealth for sort of breaking through windows and other similarly non-stealthy. Hmm. That's not ideal. I guess let's just move them. Let's move them here. And afterwards I can try and move them into this corner here, which should have a good overview, or possibly even this corner here, which will have a good overview of the plaza. Let's move Khan up here. Alright, Khan can see people. I've not got great shots on them, so I think I'm probably still gonna use this turn. To just move people into position and then open fire next turn. Mm -hmm. I could move Vard up here as well with Callow. That might not be a bad shout. Yeah. Confirmed. Let's move them up here. They also have a shot. It's significantly better. But not what I'm after. Understood. And Hold Emma down. can just slot in here. Roger, I've got my eyes on. So Watch. next turn, Covering now. all Roger. hell should be breaking loose. Yeah, because there are three of them. These might be all the enemies in uh, this map. Seeing it is, seeing as it, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> seeing as it is the first map, and when I'm first spotted by these people, they will all move. So it might be a shout for. Oh, I can get two of them with Callow's grenade. If I am mispronouncing any of these names, please do let me know. Because it's not intentional. The problem is that when I throw a grenade, they won't be able to move afterwards. So... Yeah, I can't do that. Can... Can Vard get all three of them? Vard can, yeah! And that'll do a minimum of three damage. Which should take all of them out. If I position it right. Here, yeah. catch. With your cigarette in your mouth. They found us. Alright, so that wasn't all enemy targets. That is good to know. So let's move. Good copy. Moving on target. Callow up here. So with most of these characters, I did just take the random 
sort of first generated settings. Except for Khan, who I got instructions for, so you know. Oh. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. That's not necessarily the best thing in the world. Because, yeah, Khan is flanked right now. Not got great shots. Got a 66% chance there. I mean, I've got more grenades. It might be worth Khan. Yeah, those aren't good shot chances. Because I think when you're flanked, your shot chance on them goes down as well. So what I might do is I might move Khan over here. That looks a little healthier. I would like a two points cover if possible. And I could just slot them back. Yeah, why not? Let's be cautious. We're playing on Iron Man. And I think we'll we'll let them come to us. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I mean, these shots are probably going to miss, but... Hey! Back. Nah, that was the officer that didn't quite kill them. Boo! Ooh. I can't remember what that means. But it's okay, they were so distracted by Khan's shirtlessness that they couldn't hit him. So yeah, we've got a certain amount of shots in each weapon before we need to reload it, and that takes... Uh, it takes... So I might just start talking about them as sort of move actions and standard actions and co-op uh, tabletop RPG actions, but I think this essentially takes a move action to reload if memory serves. What do we got? Got a 50% hmm, chance. Isn't great. Who else have we got going on? So we can move to get better shots. So we could go there, which will... At least you can see there's a target preview at the bottom of the screen there, which gives you an idea about what sort of status, how many targets you can hit, and how flanked they would be if you go there. I'm assuming that's going to be flanking this person here. What's my minimum? I've got three minimums, so I should be able to take them out. Oh, no, no, whoops, whoops. Didn't realize I had Overwatch. Missed that. <laughs> Alright, I've got a 78% chance. Not perfect, but... Probably kill him. Yeah! Good riddance. And Emma got a promotion. Good job, Emma. What chance have we got here? Now, Vard doesn't have a grenade anymore. These are consumables that will return at the end of the mission, so it's a permission usage. So we've got a 50% chance, or... 100% chance. Let's do that. Yeah. And Callow got a promotion. Let's see. It's no great place for to go, but I guess let's go. Here seems the best. Thirty-one percent chance with your golden gun. Yeah, they're smoking a cigar. They got him on a call. <laughs> they are just the worst. But let's see if they can 
Nope. Enemy is still up. Oh, I should have seen if they could have grenaded. I meant to do that, but I think it was just too far. Alright, let's see if Vard can... Yeah! Enemy destroyed. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Yeah, we will. So I don't think it hugely matters where I put people now, so I might just move people up. I don't know if I'm going to need to extract from this mission because sometimes that's a thing. So I'm not going to leave people up on the roof. Move people down and put them in Overwatch just to be safe. Oh, I was wondering why the camera was moving down so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Plant the X4. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Will do. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. I mean, I didn't see Khan get clear, but I'll take your word for it. Take mission photo. <laughs> oh. Khan is the worst. So. They are framed. What locations can we have? The one that's like right in front of the monument. This is some some good framing. Yeah, there we go. Advent will fall. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. The most damage, Vard. That was presumably from the big grenade. Main most attacks, Khan. Most under fire, Khan. Move furthest, Khan. Operation Gatecrasher. Success. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. So let's start promoting people. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. All right, so Vard is our first. Ranger, they are typically very useful because they've got a shotgun. And they can also hack people up. Ability slash attack any enemy within movement range with your sword. And why that's so good is I think you can do that as sort of a free attack after a move. So you can essentially attack twice sorry, move twice and then attack at close range. So Oh yeah, War of the Chosen included a sort of soldier bond thing so they have friends within XCOM and they have above average combat intelligence don't remember if aim of 68 is good I've got a feeling it's not but whatever so Emma some of our most advanced equipment Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. So Emma's our specialist. They can do things like lots of hacking and they are very much sort of support type build. The same aim, standard intelligence. Will seems a little lower. All right. Just like it sounds, yeah. our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Sharpshooters are absolutely my favorite. 
So yeah, they have an ability called Squad Sight, which means that they can shoot people from extreme range as long as somebody in the party can see them. Their downside is they can only fire their sniper rifle if they haven't moved, so it takes their full turn to do so. Frequently, you'll just plant a sniper up on a roof and leave them there for the rest of the level, more or less, just picking people off. They also have abilities where if they kill someone with a shot, they get another action back, so you can just have them chaining so many people. They're a bit more useless inside buildings, though. I'm guessing Khan is going to be our heavy. Our demolitions experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. So they have a machine gun, which can do things like shred cover and armor, and they've got a grenade launcher, which gives them, as you can see here, it gives you greater range for your grenades, and it allows you to carry more of them, which is very useful. Again, tends to be more of a support type than damage dealer, but they can, they can do a decent amount of damage with some of their abilities, which will get rid of uh, armor of enemies, which becomes more of a thing later on if memory serves. Let's get back, we got some corpses. Advent Trooper Corpse, passable as human when hidden behind their armor. In death, the alien features an orange blood of the Advent Troopers reveal a more sinister pedigree. An Advent Officer Corpse, despite the heavier ornamentation of their battle armor, the bodies of Advent Officers are indistinguishable from regular troopers, save for a thick red scar at the back of their skulls. Interesting. Commander to the research labs. So this is the other layer of... XCOM, so you've got the tactical combat layer, and you've got the broader sort of management layer where you can do things like build new gear, you can research things, and you'll go on missions. Meat rations. We still don't know what they're putting in that stuff. So let's head to research. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien's stasis suit, a device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. See, I think the tutorial mission had us be rescued from, like, Advent Control and this person who removed, like, apparently a brain chip that we had in us. But let's have a look at research. So... You can see here there are a number of things we can research. The estimated time, if it's green, that essentially means it's quick to research and generally means that we should have researched it already. If it's yellow, that's normal, and if it's red, it's slow. So we can research modular weapons, which will give us more powerful weapons, which I really generally like doing. We could research hybrid materials, which gives us, maybe give us like armor boosts or extra things we can equip maybe. Alien biotech. Can't entirely remember what that does, but give us something. And experimental weapons. Which presumably will give us some more exciting weapons. I think just going to start research on modular I weapons. I find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. 
I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well-armed, well-trained enemy, and yet they never waver in their loyalty to the cause. No, they do not. And they want some engineering now, so let's have a look at that. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. All right, so... We can You'd build. be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. So we can manufacture some gear here. I tend to just like keeping the frag grenades on them until I get more exciting grenades, to be honest. I've never found even things like medkits to be too useful in XCOM 2, but... You know, I'm not an expert at this game. I'm sure that all of these things are incredibly useful in the right hands. So I'm probably going to hold off on this. And There's might have a look at facilities to build on board instead. The Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. So we can... Build stuff. I think that's a thing we fairly urgently want to build. Probably that afterwards. So we'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. Let's start I'll building that. The Gorilla Tactics School. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. All right, I'll try to recruit an engineer. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually a threat to the aliens, and they know it. Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies remember what we're fighting for. My father didn't die so we could become a race of cowering test subjects for the aliens to toy with. We just have to get the people's attention. So where's the... ah, there's the bridge. Or... oh, come on. Let's have a look at all this stuff. Objectives. No objectives. And your report. Oh, all right. So that's a whole load of information. And the archives. Okay, cool. Otherwise here. Yeah, let's have a look at these soldiers. So we've got a whole host of people. Some of them are randomized. People, but most of them are taken from the play friends and I don't think I've already said this but if I have I'm sorry for repeating myself but in the description there will be a Google Doc for people to sign up for sort of their information on here and if you want to be part of my team I'm more than happy to customize any of these people so you know Bernadette Leroy can be further customized and I can change who they are to have you be in my team. But yeah, look in the description for the link to that Google Doc. So let's just have a look at some of these people. So here we've got Squaddy Emma Carey B. Brossard. So she's looking, she's looking cool. 
have Vard Northbourne smoking his cigarette and with his sword in his back and with a... I'm not sure what hairstyle that is, but it looks cool regardless. Oh, I forgot to look at my hair intelligence. It's standard. This is Callow. Standard combat intelligence. Slightly, slightly better aim, which is good because they're a sharpshooter. Khan, same, uh, same aim as anyone else. Standard combat intelligence. I have two golden guns. Absolutely no shirt. A goatee. And, you know, they're the worst. They also have... Let's have a look. Character information. Born at a very young age, Khan led a cushy lifestyle with the arrival of Advent. So cushy, in fact, that it prevented him from having a relatable tragic backstory. Thus, he turned to a life of crime to remedy this. LimeWire? He did it. Insurance... Petty theft? You betcha. Insurance thawed. Absolutely. Arson? Oh, you mean crime brulee. This, of course, made him a fair few enemies, but luckily, Khan possesses abysmal luck. He was the first to discover the zero side in a D6. So often has he missed that he even missed his own prison sentence and now seeks asylum in XCOM to not repent for his... not reading fast enough. To not repent for his misdeeds at all and do even more crime. So that's our Khan. I think we also had Callow, who has a biography as well. And they are the cleverest cannon fodder. Which is, you know, somewhat ironic given that they are going to be far from the front lines <laughs> with their sniper rifle. So the other people that we've got around are we've got Keegan Gordon. We have Robin Roberts. And I'm not sure how to say the nickname. Is it Dare Demon or Dare Demon? I could see either way. But they look kind of cool. Ooh. We have Font Wisdom Under? Umber? <laughs> oh, where's my ability to speak today? We have Kerrigan's EB. This is the second character that uh, Care EB provided us with. And here we have Orochi Playfriend, because they didn't provide me any other information apart from Orochi, so this is what we went with. And that's it. We've got three others, three other open slots that we can have people in. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. So yeah, here is where... You were tuned oh. in last time. Unfortunately, I got a call from my buddy Stanford, and he wasn't all that happy about me talking about him on the radio here, so... Uh, so, so we're not going to do that anymore, I guess. Uh, so, no hard feelings, all right, pal? Uh, buy you a new sweater or something, make it up to you. <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep killing aliens, or at least talking about killing aliens. So I think here's where a number of posters will go and pictures of any soldiers who have fallen. I think they'll go on, like, this wall over on the left here. Also got a confuse. Photos, yeah. Alright, so I think gonna leave it here for today. I'm on the cusp about doing a second mission, but I think that might take it a bit too long. So yeah, I'm hoping to upload two of these a week at least. Possibly more if my internet is bad and I'm unable to stream for a day, I'll replace the stream with an XCOM video. So until next time, I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Advent will fall, remember that. Goodbye.